Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris. Today we're at Harbor Freight. We're gonna see if they have the brand new Hercules 20 volt brushless angle grinder. Let's head on inside, talk a little bit about Hercules and all the stuff that Harbor Freight has to offer. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So jumping inside my Harbor Freight store, we're going to see not only if they have the brand new Hercules brushless tool, if they have other items, we're going to check those out too. Here you can see the Hercules lineup. If you purchase a bear tool, a battery, and a charger, you get $25 off. And there it is. Lo and behold, they have the brand new brushless first tool to the lineup, Hercules Grinder. Features 8,500 RPMs. That's at no load speed. And it's just the start to six new tools that they're gonna be launching in the next six months, from lights, vacuums, to oscillating multi-tools and a circular saw, all brushless tools. We'll pick up a five amp hour battery. That's probably the best to run with your grinders. Then we'll compare it to some that we have back at home. So now let's shop around the store and see what else they have. Now this new item here, the Earthquake XT Green and Black Half Inch Drive Composite Extreme Torque Air Impact Wrench featuring 1,190 foot-pounds of nut-busting bolt breakaway torque. Just showed up in store. That'll run you about $150. If you compare it to the other composite, red and black, that one has a hard plastic handle where the green and black one has that rubber grip. For 150 bucks, not too bad. It's definitely gonna be a lot cheaper than a tool truck brand. Now the Doyle lineup continues to expand at Harbor Freight. Here you can see the 12 inch black anodized laser etched aluminum rafter square. The 12 inch will run you $15.99. They also do have a seven inch that'll run you $7.99. And as that brand continues, they'll offer more products like this utility knife. It features a quick one handed operation for fast access to the blade. And if you like the Doyle lineup, You'll probably pick this up because it's only 10 bucks. It's made out of aluminum and it's super light. And if you haven't added more lights or more lumens to your garage shop or work area, you're gonna wanna check out the linkable Braun 3000 lumen, 5500 lumen or 10,000 lumen light. Now, if you're gonna light up a large work area, you're probably gonna wanna get the bigger, brighter ones. Those are 10,000 lumens. That'll run you $70. And the other options, well, those aren't as bright. Those are the 3000 lumen or the 5500 lumen. Those will run you anywhere from $32.99 to $39.99. Now, if we move on over to the flashlight selection, here you can see the Quantum 250 lumen ultra bright mini spotlight. It features three different modes. It's got a medium, a low, and a high. It doesn't have that annoying flashing strobe. It's got a 90 degree pivot head and all aluminum body on it runs on three AAA batteries, and that'll run you around $12.99. Now there's always products that I've actually never tried at Harbor Freight before. So if anybody has any experience with any of the painting supplies at Harbor Freight, comment down below, let me know how they work out. They have good, better, best, and even cheap economy solutions, and I'd love to know how they work. Now this next item, believe it or not, is right next to the painting supplies. This is the Icon Professional Glass Scraper. It has an extended reach length, so it helps to get in those hard to reach spots. It has 10 replacement blades. It's safe on glass, tile, metal, and other hard surfaces. It's got a thumb screw to help secure the blades, and that'll run you roughly around 20 bucks. Now the next item in the Icon lineup that they're adding is the four piece professional scraper and removal tool set. I mean, to me, it's kind of like a little hook in a pick set with that one scraper in there. Really makes it ideal for removing O-rings, scraping off you know maybe a head gasket or something and the rubber grip on them they're pretty nice they are a little expensive at $34.99 however they should be really high quality compared to the Pittsburgh $10 ones and even the $1.99 ones but those you can't beat those when they're on sale for 99 cents now looking at the Quinn lineup here you can see the metric locking hex key 8 piece set it features multiple different angles. So you got the 90, 135, 180, and 225, and finally your 270 degree locking hex key sets. Also SAE, that'll run you 10 bucks. Now, if you like woodworking, this dual action oscillating edge belt and spindle sander from Bauer will be pretty nice for you. It quickly converts from a spindle sander to a belt sander without any tools, has a powerful 3.5 amp hour motor, and because you get those two functions in one unit, it allows you to save space. 
So Harbor Freight continues to add items to the Bauer lineup, and here we have some more lighting solutions. This 295 lumen light really helps light up an entire area, and if you really need to focus your beam of light, this is more of a spotlight. It offers 220 lumens, and if you need the most amount of light, this 2000 lumen light is not only battery powered, but it does offer a corded solution. It doesn't charge your battery, but it offers both solutions in one, and that corded solution portion of it allows for unlimited runtime. Now the very last Bauer item that we're gonna look at is the seven inch 12 amp variable speed rotor polisher sander. It has a 600 to 3500 RPM switch that allows you to get just the right finish speed that you need. It has a decently comfortable D handle and it'll run you about $89.99. Now this next item is something that you typically don't think about until it's a little too late. The Syntac 4-in-1 Power Pack with Jump Starter and AC Compressor will run you $79.99. This unit provides up to 20 hours of 12 volt power on a single charge, making it perfect for power outages, emergencies, or that next road trip. So if you don't want to spend $79.99, you might want to take a look at this item over here as the three in one will run you $69.99 and simply doesn't have the air compressor built in. So that might not be a big deal, but it saves you 10 bucks. Now, if you need a fixed battery charger, the new Viking battery charger has a two, eight and 15 amp automatic microcontrolled processor, making it pretty much ideal for all 12 volt batteries, including your deep cycle, your gel or your AGM batteries. So it works for automotive, marine, farm, and even RV battery charging. It provides three levels of protection, overheat, overcharging, and reverse polarity, and it'll run you $59.99. Now, if you don't wanna spend quite as much money, you can get the four amp version. That also works great as a charger and maintainer, and that'll run you $37.99. Now, not every Harbor Freight store is the same. Some are larger, some are smaller, some are newer, some are older, but hopefully they all mistreat you equally. And we also hope that they have a little new section like this where you can see the warm white copper wire lights as well as some of the solar disc lights. Might use those for gardening, potting, planting, or just lighting up a little walk area. They have some of those paint brushes which are also in a different section, but this is home to some of those new items that really just come into the store and you never know what you're gonna find here. Pretty much a lot of stuff that we covered. Now let's head back and see what items we purchased today. So what did we pick up from Harbor Freight today and did we get a good deal? Well, first off, let's just say we did get our free item flashlight and I'm super excited about that because now we can complete our entire collection here, which means if you're like me and you shop at Harbor Freight, we need them to come up with some new free item coupons because having just the flashlight isn't cutting it. So if you're with me and you want Harbor Freight to offer some new free item coupons, let them know down below in the comments what kind of items you would be looking at because I have enough flashlights personally. Now we did pick up the Syntec Digital Photo Sensor Tachometer, and this is gonna allow us to take the RPM readings, not only of the Hercules tool, we don't have this calibrated, but we're gonna go ahead and measure the Bosch as well as the Ryobi, and maybe if we're lucky, we'll throw in the Drill Master. We know what those are supposed to be reading at for RPM stated by the manufacturer. Now we'll see how this compares and how the tools really rate. You can never have too many flat discs, so we did pick up two flat discs. In addition to the Hercules brushless tool, the first one in the lineup, we did get our charger and our five amp hour battery. So here's the question that people really wanna know. Does the Hercules brushless angle grinder work? Well, let's find out. We got drywall screws, we got general construction screws, we got a deck screw, and we got a 3 8 inch lag bolt. And that lag bolt. And how is the Hercules when it comes to cutting 3 8 inch thick metal? Well, let's find out. We got a cutting wheel on there. That's about a one inch mark there. Now we got two marks there, and that makes short, quick work 
of that 3 8 inch thick steel. Nicely done, Hercules, with your brushless angle grinder. So as far as price, the Hercules, when you buy the bare tool, a battery and a charger, you get $25 off. And before any taxes or any other things, this will run you about $169.97. Compared to a few other items, you know, a rigid tool, which would also be brushless with a three amp hour battery, would run you roughly $247. If you were to look at the Bosch item here, this will run you $129 just for the bare tool. That's not including the four amp hour or the charger. Unless you get a deal on that, $129 for the bare tool is slightly more expensive than the Hercules at just $100. Now, if you were to get a cobalt grinder, again, that's just bare tool, $129. Now, if you wanted to purchase a Milwaukee M18 fuel with a five amp hour battery, that would run you $219, where if you just bought the bare tool alone, that would be $179. Both of those combinations are more expensive than the Hercules that we purchased today. Now, a Makita combo from Home Depot with a five amp hour battery would run you roughly $310. If you were to get just the Ryobi grinder itself, that's really gonna be probably your only comparison because that grinder itself is around $100, making it very comparable to the Hercules. Now you could get a DeWalt Flex Volt with one of the 60 volt batteries, that would run you $299. Now one combo deal that I found, which is truly exceptional, it is a brushed model, but if you figure you get the Craftsman Grinder, a four amp hour battery and a charger for $129, that's a pretty good deal. However, Hercules is supposed to come out with some new tools in their lineup, a lot coming in the next six to 10 months. Look forward to seeing that as well as reviewing some of those tools. This gets me in that platform and lineup and I really hope to see some more exciting things from Harbor Freight and Hercules. Now the first tool we're gonna test out is the Drillmaster four and a half inch angle grinder. This is said to have 12,000 RPMs. This is a Harbor Freight product and it's relatively inexpensive. This one I picked up a while back on one of their $5 specials but typically this costs you under $20 and usually averages around $14.99. So we do have our photo sensor tape attached to one of our discs and we'll go ahead and start this up and then we'll go ahead and take our reading. Here we have the brand new Hercules brushless grinder running on a fully charged five amp hour battery. This is said to have 8,500 RPMs. Here we have the Bosch running on the four amp hour battery. This is said to have about 10,000 RPMs. So we'll go ahead and see how close this is. So here we have an older Ryobi. This is a corded model. It's AG453. It's said to put out around 11,000 RPMs. So the last grinder we're gonna test is the cordless Ryobi P420. This is said to have around 6,500 RPMs. Now, as far as no load RPMs go, yeah, the Hercules was a little bit underrated, but so was the Drillmaster and even that Bosch and that thing does everything I needed to do. As far as performance went on this one, it cut through everything that I threw at it, and I've previously been using the 12-year-old Ryobi in addition to this Bosch, and they both get the job done. I feel like the Hercules brushless angle grinder definitely has more power. Might be because of that five amp hour battery, but that really just makes it run quite a bit longer, and I'm pretty happy with it. You know, if people can be happy with a $14.99 Drillmaster angle grinder, I think you can bite the bullet and this won't be that bad of a tool for you. You know, they're gonna have more things coming to the lineup in addition to some of the cutoff wheels that they already have, more grinding wheels, and even supposedly flap discs. So look forward to that, as well as if you really like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, 
go ahead and give it two thumbs down. If you have any experience or really a preference when it comes to angle grinders, go ahead and comment down below. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That way you won't miss out on the Mac Tools RBRTs for their rounded bolt technology. We're gonna put those up against the Ingersoll Rand Tech Solutions hex bit socket set. That'll be a pretty cool one, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, guys, work smarter, not harder. And we'll catch you in the next video. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.